So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Fredersen, 51 year old type one diabetic. And in today's video, I wanna talk about, are you training too little in sets or are you training too much? So are you under training or are you over training when it comes to sets per muscle group per workout? And there's a couple studies I wanna quote. I'll put the links down below just in case you guys wanna go take a look at them. And one study, they took a group, they split them in half, and one group did one set of leg extensions to failure. The next group, the, the second half of the group did three sets of leg extensions to failure. And not too surprising, the three set to failure had a greater muscle protein synthesis response in the fed state in the meal after the, the workout. Like I said, not too surprising. They did a little more work. So of course you're gonna have more of an anabolic effect after the workout in the fed state. Then they took some individuals and did six sets to failure. And this big one on that was they found that the muscle protein synthesis response in the fed state was 130% higher than in the three set um, group. And also it lasted for up to 29 hours. That's a big whopping percentage and a big increase in muscle protein since this at six sets per muscle group. So the final one was the interesting one. They took a group of individual that did, individuals that did eight sets to failure, and then they did a group that did 12 sets to failure. And in this one here, the eight sets to failure had quite a good increase in muscle protein synthesis. I'm expecting, they didn't really say, but six fold, something like that in the study, which is I think what they said close to in the six set range. So not too far off, but a greater increase than the six sets. But in a 12 set range, the, the individuals had a significant decrease in muscle protein synthesis. So we're talking about training too little at one set, not enough training volume, maybe even three sets might not be enough training volume. If you're not getting the hypertrophy response you want, you might wanna go closer to six to eight sets, but you do not wanna surpass 12 sets. So the safe range as far as on the high end, I would say it would be just to be safe between eight and 10 sets because as it gets closer to 12, it's like not like there was no muscle protein sense of response, but it started to decrease quite significantly. So overtraining would be probably 11, 12 sets per muscle group per workout. So you wanna watch out on your training. And a big thing on that, a takeaway from that is probably the fact that when we're trying to build muscle hypertrophy, you get a hypertrophy response, we're supposed to be concentrating on mechanical tension and metabolic stress, not necessarily muscle damage. So muscle damage is just a small part of muscle hypertrophy and cellular hypertrophy. And we want to focus more on the mechanical and metabolic stress. So when you get up into those higher sets per muscle group, more than likely there's more fatigue and more muscle breakdown than the other two processes of hypertrophy, which when you have a high uh, catabolic and a high anabolic effect, you get closer to the idea of no effect whatsoever in muscle protein synthesis or a decreased effect in muscle protein synthesis because it's trying to catch up on the breakdown process. So once again, happy new year everybody. And if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you have any topics you want me to talk about in any video, go ahead and leave the comments down below. Other than that, this is Dave. See you next time.